the Philadelphia Eagles come out in a barn burner. Obviously, the score isn't quite as it seems. Philadelphia jumped out big time very early on. Uh, Lions were always trying to play catch up. But this Philadelphia team, with the new addition of superstar wide receiver A.J. Brown, looks legit. It's just the piece that Jalen Hurst seemed to have needed to really take him to the next level uh, as a quarterback. But, Nick, there was tons and tons of bright spots on this Philadelphia team. You know, you got the James Bradbury pick six. You got two guys in Jalen Hurts and Miles Sanders, almost 100-yard rushers. Obviously, A.J. Brown had a big game. But, Philly fans, we got to know, who was your MVP of the game? Is there somebody that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Who do you think the MVP of this game was? But, uh, Nick, what do you have on Philadelphia? So this was uh, this according to the San Diego Union Tribune. So A.J. Brown hung an always open sign last week in his locker. Uh, A.J. Brown certainly can't be knocked for false advertising. Brown had a Philadelphia Eagles debut to remember and certainly won for the record books. And a 38-35 win over the Detroit Lions, Brown had a career high tying 155 yards receiving, the most yards receiving by a player ever in his Eagles debut. Uh, Brown said after the game, sometimes the ball just keeps finding you. I just kind of got hot early. Uh, Brown and Hurt, uh, Jalen Hurts, quarterback Jalen Hurts, already had a close friendship off the field. The chemistry is already there on the field, and it looks like A.J. Brown could be the best Eagles receiver since the days of Terrell Owens back in 2004. All right, my so A.J. Brown coming to the field off the Eagles was obviously one of the bigger moves this offseason happening during the, happened during the draft. They locked him up to a big deal, pairing him with Devontae Smith, who had a very quiet game, no catches, I think only three or four targets. But I think what A.J. Brown brings to this Eagles offense, because Eagles, they do play that kind of almost Baltimore Raven-esque running game where they have obviously the quarterback run option and Jalen Hurts. That means the receivers get a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups. And sometimes to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups, you need to be physically strong, imposing, and just run away from people. And that's exactly what A.J. Brown brought to the table against the Detroit Lions. And he was unguardable. I think in the first half, he had 120, 128 receiving yards six catches really got them going right out the gates and the lions didn't have an answer for him in the first half really all game for any part of this eagles offense so obviously a big win for philadelphia great performance by aj brown but what are your thoughts on brown and what he could bring to this eagles offense and, and what he did against the lions yeah nick so when i think about what aj brown brings to the eagles i think it's that neck it's like the tyreek hill uh to the dolphins uh obviously the dolphins had waddle but Tyreek Hill brings that offense to the next level. Obviously, Hurts had Devontae Smith, but bringing in A.J. Brown brings that offense to the next level. Obviously, the Dolphins had Mike Gisecki, and the Eagles have Dallas Goddard. They're very similar in their offensive mm -hmm. builds when you think about it. Two is relatively mobile. He's no Jalen Hurts. And, you know, they may have even played at the same college together. You never know. But, uh, you know, I like that uh, Hurts, or excuse me, Brown was out there against some guys, you know, a very high first round pick. Jeff Akuda was out there. Uh, you know, uh, Detroit has some pretty decent corners, uh, at least in the grand scheme of things, they should be decent. But Brown kind of just torched everybody he went up against. Like you said, nobody could guard him. Uh, he was going off all game long. And it, it just shows that this Eagles team just needed a little bit extra to put the gas in the tank to push them over the edge oh yeah and what if we talked about what wide receivers need to bring to to kind of put teams over the edge you brought up Tyree Kill I think it's a great example we talked about creating matchup nightmares and that's what AJ Brown when he's 100% healthy as big as he is as strong as he is as fast as he is he really does actually remind me a lot of seeing him play for the Eagles reminds me a lot of Terrell Owens back when he was in Philly obviously Philly fans are hoping for a much much better a long-term outcome there but I really like what he can bring into the offense and what it'll eventually do for Devontae Smith. Because Brown and Smith are kind of fire and ice a little bit. Smith is more of the natural receiver, the route runner, the hands, the catching, and things like that. And sometimes in that Eagles offense, the way they run it with Hurts, Smith isn't just going to get the opportunities like I talked about earlier. But having a guy like Brown doesn't put all that load on Smith. Where before I think, think some games last year, when the Eagles needed a big play or they wanted a big play or a big third down situation, they were forced to go to Smith and maybe some route combinations or schemes that really isn't to Smith's strength. You pair it with Brown, who can use his physical stature to just over power anybody in any situation and over time will open things up for Smith to get more comfortable and allow him to do things more specifically for Devontae Smith because I still think Devontae Smith who people sometimes forget this won the Heisman Trophy not too long ago 
is one of the more natural, smoother receivers you'll find in the NFL. But I think he just needs to get more time, get more uh, in that offense, get more chemistry with Jalen Hurts and kind of find what works best for him. And I think allowing Brown to like bear the brunt of the workload at the wide receiver uh, position early on will play uh, a big role in Smith's development.